welcome back to my channel i'm jess from bahati life thank you so much for tuning in today we're going to be talking about this stunning trine that's happening within the cosmos which is this golden little beam of light between the planet of abundance and expansion jupiter and the planet of illusion and fantasy neptune this is one of those transits that i don't feel like it, it's getting the attention that it is that it deserves and that's one of the reasons why i just wanted to stop everything that it was that i was doing in order to come here and talk to you guys about it right now number one I'm realizing that for many of you you're probably feeling a little exhausted defeated frustrated disappointed exasperated if that's a word with everything that's been going on with the current cosmos and I understand because we have so many eclipses and then also the majority of the planets at the time of me filming this video are retrograde I've been trying to coach you guys every day as much as I can whether it be on Instagram through YouTube or or through our astro live chat because the energy that's been swirling around in the sky currently is a little tense and frustrating to say the least I've been showing you how to kind of work with the planets and not against them so you feel like you're flowing more than forcing and I've been trying to guide you to trust and to have faith in what is ultimately going to happen for you in that it's happening for your highest and greatest good but I understand how sometimes it can be a little exhausting I really want you guys to see that these retrogrades are really kind of pushing you into a space where they the universe and the cosmos and the higher power the powers that be are asking you to kind of let go of your control and to be a little bit more open and flexible to what can happen for you I've seen this in my own life when I've gone to my sacred space and my altar and I had a one-on-one -on -one conversation with God and my angels and my guides and my ancestors and I was asking them like look what do you have for my life this is what I want for me this is what I see for me and they asked me to be quiet they asked me to be still and they said what it is that you want for yourself is not big enough and when I heard that it shook me to my core I felt it in my bones I had chills up and down my body because what I was asking for was bigger than anything that I could have even imagined for myself what I was asking for seemed so impossible that I couldn't even imagine that it could actually come true but I wanted to put it out there because I believe that anything can happen but also I had to remember that I'm only a human being and as a human being there are certain limitations to what I think can happen and also there's limitations to what I know can happen because the reality is I don't know all so when I allowed myself to step to my altar and to have this honest conversation with the universe with God and my angels that's when they told me that the vision that I had was not what they wanted or what they saw for me and that what they had for me was bigger than I could even grasp and fathom. So in that moment, I had to let go of my control and to open up to what could potentially happen. That's what it is that is going on currently in our transits and in our present day and time. The retrogrades are saying, look, it's time for you to take a step back. It's time for you to prepare. I need you to look at this, this, and this in order for you to receive this. And this is the Jupiter trine Neptune aspect that is happening in the skies. Now, Jupiter is the planet of abundance and expansion. Everything that Jupiter touches will grow. Jupiter is larger than life. He is connected to not the things that we learn in this life, but what we instinctively know within our hearts. Jupiter is the guru who steps in and teaches us and guides us everything and activates everything within us that we already knew, but sometimes kind of lays dormant. On October 10th of 2017, so that was last year because it's August 20th, 2018, and yes, I had to look over at my laptop to see what today's date was because I am so out of touch with numbers and dates and reality sometimes. Let's be real. <laughs> but on October 10th, 2017, that was when Jupiter moved into the sign of Scorpio. Scorpio is connected to our passion and a deeper reason for being a deeper level of experience when I took the time out to meditate on what this transit was going to bring into our lives the biggest word the biggest sentence that kept coming through was quality over quantity Scorpio energy does not entertain anything that is superficial because Scorpio energy wants to dive into the depths of our being it also wanted you to focus on money power 
intimacy, sex, control. It wanted you to move out of the superficial into the sensual. It wanted you to move out of being closed off and disconnected into being intimate. And that doesn't mean that you share intimate parts of yourself with just anyone or anything, but to be a little bit well, a lot more selective about who it is and what it is that you're giving your time, your energy, and also your resources to. Specifically resources because Scorpio also rules that. Scorpio wants you to look at investments just as much as Capricorn would want to, but it wants to make you look at investments when it comes to emotional investments. What is it that you are tying yourself to energetically, spiritually, emotionally, mentally? Is it worth your time, your energy, and your attention? So when Jupiter, the planet of abundance, moved into the sign of Scorpio, these things were being highlighted and brought to the surface. We saw this in our society where we were looking at and re-examining and things were getting blown into our face when it came to sexual misconduct because Scorpio rules sex and genitalia, issues of power and control, and also manipulation. This is when we started seeing people being outed in with, within like politics and government and um, celebrity statuses where they're like, yo, this person did this. This is how they've been trying to exert their dominance, dominance and trying to control others using manipulation and sexual exploitation. That was one way that we saw Jupiter move through the sign of Scorpio, but also on a more personal level, hopefully those weren't issues that it was that you were dealing with, but on a more personal level, you were you are now being asked to dive into the Im the intimate depths of your core, so your reason for being, and the thing, the deepest, 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 darkest, because Scorpio also rules the dark, desires of your heart. Now, when Jupiter is moving slowly through the sign of Scorpio, he then sees Neptune, and Neptune is literally this like little ocean god <laughs> that's sitting on the banks of this beautiful uh, sea and has sea foam around him and magic and mermaids and music and art and romance. So Jupiter looks over at Neptune and sees all of this fantasy and all of this illusion and all this beauty and says, holy shit, I want what you have. Tell me your secrets. Tell me your ways. And Neptune turns his body real slowly because all of these planets move really, really slow. <laughs> They're like creaking ships on the ocean, but he moves his body and turns to him and he says, Look, This is the vision that I have for you. This is what you want. This is how good life can get. Because that's what Neptune does. Neptune makes this Im magical, imaginative veil over our lives. And to our core, and to the deepest, the deepest level of our core, again, Scorpio, and to our core, we know that there are actually things that are out there for us. But again, back to that original message that it was that I shared with you that sometimes as human beings, we limit ourselves because we don't believe that it can happen. But our spiritual self within us, which is Neptune sitting in the sign of Pisces, it understands and it knows that there's something bigger and more profound and more beautiful for us. Now society has a way of kind of stripping away these visions that we have or this way of life that could actually happen. But Neptune sitting in the sign of Pisces is working to raise our vibration, not just mine and yours, but everyone. So we're starting to become more conscious. We're starting to become more aware. We wanna live our lives different. We wanna live our lives more authentically and we wanna invite things that actually resonate with us and our vibration and raise our vibration. So our quality of living and our experience here on, on Earth is the next level. Now again, Neptune sitting in the sign of Pisces is not grounded in reality in any way, shape, or form. Not reality in the way that we know it. Not the reality in the way that society knows it. Neptune sitting in the sign of Pisces is asking you to really connect intuitively and on a energetic level with what potential can happen for you and what lies within you. These are things that you intuitively and instinctively will, will know if you give yourself the space and the time to explore it. When Neptune is moving through the sign of Pisces, this is when we start asking questions like, what is my sole purpose? What is the work that I'm sent here to do? I wanna find that and I wanna do that. Also, in relationships, we wanna find our soulmates, our twin flames, we wanna connect with people and build relationships that are more significant and meaningful and impactful. We don't want superficial anymore. We want authentic. We want to vibe. We want to experience. We want to love unconditionally. And also in our lives, we don't want to just have this meaningless life. We want meaning and experience. We want to discover. We want to explore. We want to change. 
This is something that is a truth that can only come from your spirit. This is also something that is given to you by the divine. So the more time that you spend in meditation and focusing on being your authentic self, the more that this truth of who you are and what you're destined to do will be revealed to you. So back to Jupiter, looking at Neptune that's sitting on the banks of this ocean, the two of these planets, they, they meet in this beautiful trine. And what happens within a trine is that the energy of these planets works together really cohesively. So what this does is it creates this magical beam of light that's happening in the cosmos and ultimately in your life because what goes on above is what goes on below. So now during this beautiful trine that's happening in the skies, despite all of the retrogrades, despite all of the eclipses, what these two planets are working to do is to build things that only your dreams can can fathom. This is something that dreams are literally made of. And not only just dreams, we're not talking about superficial dreams, we're talking about the serious desires of your heart. This is something that some people don't even realize for themselves because they're so caught in what they think that they want and they think that they desire, but the universe knows better than us most of the time. The only way for us to kind of really connect with the deepest desires of our hearts is if we actually do the work or we ask the question. This is when we set time out for prayer and meditation, maybe not aggressively. I want you guys to still be able to live your lives, but to live your lives with an authentic truth. So that means having balance when it comes to going out, having a good time, making some mistakes because you're a human being, but also having moments where you do enter into prayer and meditation and you have a conversation with your guides your ancestors and also God this higher power to be like guide me what is it that you want for me that's what it is that I want to have for myself the answer will be revealed to you but you just need to be open to hearing it and seeing it especially during the retrograde times this is again when we're releasing and relinquishing our need to control everything and understand everything and just asking a question in order to receive and listen for an answer and to see the signs that's why sometimes in our life we're living it and we start to get frustrated and disappointed because we feel like every door that we try to open is locked or every wall that we try to push through is just blocked in some way but in reality what is happening here is that these retrogrades these eclipses are blowing things into your face so you're more aware of yourself and also of what it is that you want and opportunities and who people are and what this actually is and then also the retrogrades are guiding you to kind of let go of control and then all of this is kind of steering you and funneling you into a space that actually is going to activate and make you uh, come in connection with the desires of your heart, this ultimate vision of what can happen for you and what is happening for you if you're open to receiving it. This is why I keep saying time and time again to trust and to let go and to listen to what you ultimately want and not be afraid of asking for it. You're not making any mistakes by asking the universe, this is what it is that I want. I want true love. I want twin flame. I want to have this career of my dream dreams. I want to travel. I want my life to look like this. I want my health to be this. You're not making any mistakes by asking for those things and putting it out there to the universe but when you start to see these things unfolding which is what is happening with the Jupiter trying Neptune aspect and also the retrogrades and the eclipses when you start to see them happening don't get defeated and frustrated realize that this is actually your intention manifesting itself and this is actually your will being born Jupiter trying Neptune is the realization of this what some people call as a fantasy they'll say oh you can't have that because that doesn't exist or oh this isn't going to happen because it's impossible no it's impossible for you because I'm about to make it happen because Jupiter trying Neptune is happening in this area of my chart and anything is possible for me I don't know about you and this mosquito see those were the haters that mosquito was the haters <laughs> you're welcome boo so that being said now that the haters are gone and now that you guys are informed please do not limit yourself when it comes to connecting with the ultimate vision I can already hear some of you guys saying well Jess I don't know what it is that I want and that is totally okay all you need to do is focus on what is happening right here and right now and what would be nice for right now let's say there's somewhere that it is that you would like to go ie Bali then that's okay you can add that on your vision board and say I would like to go to Bali Jupiter trying Neptune says so it is. 
and the eclipses and the retrogrades will help to open up the path. Another thing is, is that sometimes when you don't know what's going to happen or you don't know what it is that you're, you want, what then happens is you're opening to unlimited, unlimited potential of what can and will maybe happen for you. So that means that you're opening up to the surprises of the universe and this higher power. Every step of the way, it'll be surprise, surprise, gift, gift, gift. So just say thank you and be in a position of gratitude. This is the same for those of you that actually know what it is that you want. When you start to see these things kind of falling together and falling apart, just keep saying thank you every step of the way because gratitude opens more doors. Not only that, but it helps you to lift your vibration and help you to feel good internally. And then also, it's always a good thing to thank the universe for everything that it, that it is that it's doing for you, whether you can see the blessing in it or not. All right, you guys, so I hope that this message resonated with you and reached you at the perfect time time within your life. Keep in mind that the Jupiter trying Neptune aspect is going to be um, pretty much, ex well I don't want to say exact, but the influence of it is going to be around us up until around September 23rd, which is the day after my birthday. Just FYI. <laughs> thank you so much for watching, thank you so much for sharing, and thank you so much for leaving your comments down below. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!